I heard about you tipping your head over and letting your head hang. Ain't nobody got time for that because knowing me, I'm already a klutz and I'm going to be tripping all over the... Nah, I ain't got time for that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Essence of Shea. Sorry, I'm a little under the weather. I'm getting better though, but if my voice sounds weird, that's why. I recently trimmed my hair. So, I trimmed my, first I was gonna do just an inch. And then I realized that um, some of the tips were like thinning away so I just went for it it gives me a good reason to do this video um, because a lot of you guys have asked plenty of times like how do you get your hair so long it looks so healthy what do you do how did your hair grow so fast and da 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 I've had my hair for 13 years so if I never trimmed it I'm pretty sure it would be by my knees by now but every time it gets to like my lower back or my butt I kind of trim it to my waist but this time I went a little bit shorter at first I was freaking out because like I told you guys before my hair means so much to me so a little trim is like a big deal it's almost like me cutting my hair off um but i left the one with my yarn so this one is like i told you guys i never cut that lock so this one right now is the longest and the reason for this video i figured you guys could take the journey or challenge with me in hopes of getting more healthier locks or hair in general and seeing how long it will grow and how fast it will grow with being healthier inside and out. This is gonna be about a six to a year challenge only because your hair grows a half to an inch and a half every two months so you don't want to say like three months and then your hair barely grows and you're like yo Shay this is it's a waste of time shorty I don't want to do this I'm just gonna give you guys uh, what I'm gonna do to promote healthy hair and more shiny locks first things first is I'm not gonna trim my hair anymore I already trimmed it Secondly, um, I'm not going to put any heat, and that's the third thing, I'm not going to touch my hair so much. You know you have a tendency of sitting down and just like twisting your hair with your fingers and all that stuff. Like we're going to just try to keep our hands out of our hair. I'm going to use um, silk scarves. I have, I have this scarf right here, um, a silk scarf or a silk pillowcase is really good for your hair as you guys know because it retains moisture with that being said majority of us still don't use anything silk material so that in itself dries out the hair even more which makes it more brittle which makes it hard to grow also if you guys have never seen my moist uh, my essential oils that I use to moisturize my hair I will leave the video up here or I'll put it in the description box either or so you guys know like what oils I use but I'm gonna give you guys like a general um, list of the oils that I do use and all these oils are good for stimulating hair growth shine um, helps with breakage, dry, weak hair. Is coconut oil, avocado oil, almond oil, castor oil, jojoba, argan, rosemary, carrot oil, and peppermint oil. What I will do with these oils is I will massage them in my hair, on my scalp, uh, approximately every two or three days because that's when I feel like my hair gets dry 
um first i will you guys know first i will spritz it with some rose water or i will spritz it with some filtered water with peppermint or rosemary oil which i've told you guys helps with um blood circulation and stimulation of hair growth so you spray it with the water first and then you apply whatever oil mixtures um, are most beneficial for you. What I have been using is if you find that your hair is always constantly getting dry, that could be what you're t that could be an issue from what you're consuming. So, like you guys know, I've been ha I had a bit of a kidney scare and I'm working on side note, they didn't find anything uh, really bad with my kidneys, but they noticed that I'm severely dehydrated. So drinking lots of water, just drink lots of water. Also, it, you should be aware, aware of what you consume in your body as well. Like everything is everything in moderation. Trust and trust me, trust me, guys. Since I found out what was going on with my kidney, all I drink is water. And when I was showing you guys my wash day routine and I showed you guys like how long my hair is, no lie, it just like shh, it like grew at a more of a rapid speed than it normally does because of how much water I was consuming. The oils that I was using in my hair and I also use the oil scalp massage method which is simple you just take these oils you put it in your your head and you just massage your scalp and what that does is that will like wiggle up the blood circulation in your head if it's just complacent and it's not moving just do a little massage it will help you with relaxation if you have a headache all those things but it also will help you with hair growth if you don't want to use oils or you you don't mind using it but you want to use something else as well I like I was telling you guys before with the things I use to moisturize my hair I been using this since I was a little kid this is the hundred percent Indian hemp hair and scalp um, treatment just a lot of good stuff for me I feel like you might not um this is not that much this is not organic but i've been using this since i was a little kid and something about the herbs and the oils that they use and combine into this really helps with my hair growth we're gonna try to do that like every two to three days also when you wash your hair we're gonna put all that oil into your hair again massage it Give yourself a bit of a hot oil treatment, put that plastic bag over your head, let it sit there for like 30 minutes to an hour. This will moisturize your hair, take off all that dandruff. Like, like I told you guys in my wash day um, routine, that is basically called pre-pooing, but not just with the coconut oil, you're using a whole bunch of other oils as well that is good for your hair. Also peppermint and rosemary are good oils for strengthening and hair growth and it feels really nice peppermint oil especially feels really nice in your hair and you smell like peppermint so you can't go wrong so with that I use my Dr. Brana's peppermint um, shampoo and I also put the peppermint oil in the water that I spritz in my hair and also the peppermint oil in the oils that I massage in my hair as well with all these tips and tricks I feel like you will have no problems growing your hair whether it's locked at the natural state that it's already in even if you have permed hair, it doesn't matter. I feel like this will help you a lot. I want you guys to know that this does not happen overnight. Like I said, I've had my hair for 13 years and 13 year process to get it to where it is. I mean, after a while it started to speed up because I started to take more care of my hair than I did in the beginning. So, just understand to like just leave your hair alone do what you need to do as far as washing it cleaning it keeping it hydrated your body inside and out those type of things and just not 
focusing on it so so much that's like when you're exercising which i'm learning when you exercise you expect like yo i bust my butt for like a week i expect like these major results like these celebrities everybody's body isn't the same after a while you probably won't see it but other people will because we keep looking at ourselves we keep looking at our hair we're expecting instant um results it doesn't work like that because we're just keep looking at it and keep focusing on it focus on something else don't worry about your hair like do what you need to do to take care of it and then go your way like don't sit there in the mirror just staring uh, this is what i'm going to do and i hope you join the um challenge or journey with me and if you are going to join it with me use the hashtag um essence of shea healthy hair journey once again it's hashtag essence of shea healthy hair journey and just let me see like like what you guys are doing maybe what i said about the oils you guys know a different method that helps you out or a different product that helps you out as well but um let's do this like let's get long healthy some people don't care but um let's get some long healthy hair go long hair don't care type 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 thing <laughs> so i will check back with you guys in about three months so i cut my my hair on july 9th so august september october so october 9th I will come back and show you where my length is and if you if you don't know what my length was before um follow me on Instagram I have a picture showing you how long my hair was it wasn't as long as it was it probably was an inch different from what it was when I first trimmed it but before I first when I trimmed it it was past my butt and now it's up to my uh sorry guys i feel so weak is ridiculous it's up to my bra strap so let's see um how long we can get our hair and not even long but how healthy that's the key thing how healthy let's focus on that not so much the length but the health of our hair that oil scalp massage method is really good also, I heard about you tipping your head over and letting your head hang. Ain't nobody got time for that because knowing me, I'm already a klutz and I'm going to be tripping all over the... Nah, I ain't got time for that. Anyways, I hope to see you guys soon. Remember to check in. Hashtag Essence of Shea Hair Journey. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, Tiger Lilies.